Hey, it's John Nemo with LinkedIn Riches. So excited you are watching this video because this is really neat. This is a great way to both personalize your engagement with new prospects on LinkedIn, but also to do it on autopilot automatically without having to sit there and copy and paste and do a bunch of things. This is the best of both worlds. This is technology at its finest. So let me show you what I'm talking about. It all has to do with my favorite little LinkedIn automation tool called LinMail Pro, this little paper airplane here. You can see that up close. And I'm gonna explain more about how that works in a minute. But just so you know, for right now, LinMail Pro is an add-on to the Google Chrome internet browser. It's something you pay for in the Google Chrome web store, then you add this into your browser and you're able to do a bunch of different things on LinkedIn using LinMail Pro, okay? So I wanted to make that clear. First things first, let's go get some prospects. So I'm gonna go up here in my LinkedIn search bar and I'm gonna type in, let's say I wanna get in front of some business development executives. Now you'll notice when I typed in business development, I put quotation marks around it. That's called a Boolean search. That's basically telling LinkedIn's internal search engine, hey, John only wants search results that have this exact phrase, business development. Because again, I want people with that job title. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit return and run my search. Now this is where the secret sauce, the magic of LinkedIn comes into play. You can see here, uh, I've pulled up a bunch of results. I've got 14 million search results, but the key is is filtering the search right so all along the side here where I'm drawing you can see you can filter by relationship location company name all kinds of different things so I want to take you a little deeper into that the first thing we're gonna do is filter by people right because I want to connect with real people I'm not looking for a job or a company or anything like that now you can see it filters by okay people there's 14 million people on LinkedIn with the term business development in their job title okay fine but again I want to filter it by relationship second level connections people I'm not already connected to but they're one step away from me so now you can see it's reduced that number to 1.5 million people again second level connections and you're thinking wow this is really cool John but how are you gonna personalize this oh here's where the magic comes in watch this so again depending on the approach or the angle you want to take depending on where you live there's a, several different ways we can do this one would be by location right so let's say I live live in Minneapolis, St. Paul. So I'm going to filter the search results by my city, by my location. Now what LinkedIn has done here in the middle is you can see everyone in here is filtered by business development and also uh, where they live and work, which is where I live and work. Minneapolis, St. Paul, business development. I've got another one, Minneapolis, St. Paul, business development. Now this is where the really fun part comes in. Think about how easy it would be to personalize an invitation to each person on the list, right? I live in Minneapolis, St. Paul. I can mention the weather in my invitation. I can do any of those things. Now, if I wanted to go a different direction, undo the location, maybe I wanted to target people at a certain company. So I could target all the people, let me scroll down here, at IBM, right? Maybe I wanna you know, mention something personal about IBM in my invitation. Well, now I've got all these business development executives at IBM, again, I can make a personal invite to them and you're thinking wow that sounds like a lot of work but it won't be remember my little magic plugin I'm gonna show you that in a second one other thing you can do as well is you can do it by industry so I can make a personal uh, invitation about the marketing and advertising industry or you can see staffing and recruiting is on there well let me scroll back down to that um, you can see staffing and recruiting computer software human resources IT I can add an industry I can type in the industry I want to focus on Maybe I can find some healthcare business development people. Let's see, what did I get here? Hospital and healthcare. I could change it and filter it by that. But do you start to see the power of this? Because again, I could scroll down. I could do it by what school they went to if I wanted to make personal invitations about, oh, I see you went to the University of Minnesota or Penn State or the University of Texas or New York, NYU, right? There's all these different ways that now I can sort and lay out a list of prospects with a personal you know, uh, item attached to it. All right, so just to finish this example out, what I'm gonna do is show you how to actually follow through and use the shortcut invitation method here with the personal invite. So I'm just gonna pick location, Minneapolis, St. Paul. I'm gonna go with that. It's a very simple example, a simple invite. Now, this is where the magic stuff comes in. I go up to where LinMail Pro is. Remember my little paper airplane here? 
I click connect requests and what you'll see on the next page here on my results is now it says do you want to select these people for Lin Mail? again these are people I'm not connected to who live in Minneapolis St. Paul who work with uh, in business development with their job title this is my let's say exact target audience prospects so what I'm gonna do is say yes I want to add all these folks to Lin Mail to my queue so I'll just do 10 as an example. You could go through and do 20, 30, 40, 50 of these, right? I've got over 1,200 results just here in the Twin Cities of business development people. Now, here's what I want to do. Go into Linmail Pro. You can see the drop-down options for how to use Linmail Pro. Do I want to do one-on-one -on -one messages, connect requests, visit profiles? I want to do connection requests. So I open up my dashboard. You can see a new screen. Now, what's going to happen here on Linmail Pro, let me walk you through this. On the right-hand side, you can see where it says the queue, the line basically. Here's all the people that I'm going to send personal invites to. Okay, and I can save the queue right here. I can export it. I can have spreadsheets and lists. It'll take all their information for me. This is why I love this plugin, right? It's incredible the amount of data you can pull uh, with LinkedIn. So let's go over here to the personal invite, right? Remember that beginning of this video, I said automate and personalize. So I'm gonna say, hi, insert first name. Uh, came across your profile here on LinkedIn. Was intrigued and uh, would love to connect also I noticed you live here in the MSP area like I do glorious weather today isn't it and I'll say finally because I'm in Minnesota we always joke about the weather cheers and look forward forward to connecting Right. And this is a very generic invite. All I'm doing is I'm making it personal with their name and also talking about the weather and that we live in the same city. This is critical because it's building in different trust factors, correct? So you can see down here the little preview where it inserts the name of the first person. Hi, Susan came across your profile, was intrigued, da 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 I also live in Minneapolis, great weather today, right? So you could do this for anything. You could say, hey, I noticed you went to Harvard, you know, I did too, or hey, I noticed you work in the telecom industry, how do you like it? What, however you wanna make that personal, part of your invite you add it there in the in that section in the text so now this is really where the magic comes in again going back to my linmail pro dashboard i can see all the names here make sure all the first names look good now i've got a little linmail pro widget that i got to make sure is running here yep it's running and this is all part of how the software works once you purchase it and get going and i click go and then watch what happens it opens up a new window and without me having to push any buttons, Linmail Pro is automatically inviting these people to connect with me. It's choosing friend, it's writing in a personal invite. You can see here, it's saying, hi Susan, came across your profile. How's the, isn't this weather great and glorious, etc." Now what it's gonna do is go to the next profile. It's gonna find James, again, right? He's in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's gonna do the same thing, right? Automatically, hey James, came across your profile, was intrigued, would love to connect, see how, personal that invite is and again i'm not pushing any buttons right now i'm just sitting here talking to you so you can see as linmail pro works through all these different profiles each person on this list is getting a targeted personalized invitation that uses their first name that talks about the weather that says hey i live in minneapolis minnesota too you know whatever you want to bond around but remember back to that search results screen think about all the different ways we can bond with people if we just filter those linkedin searches moving forward so you filter it by college industry company name city they live in education anything like that then you can find something personal to put in the invite. And oh, by the way, you can send out 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 invites like you're watching me do right now automatically using Linmail Pro. This is an incredible tool. This is why I love, love, love this little plugin and this approach on LinkedIn because it marries the best of both worlds. So if you're interested in more videos like this, go to linkedinriches.com. I've got tons more free tips and trainings. Also, if you want to get Linmail Pro, I've got a link up. Uh, below this video uh, that will take you right to the website where you can buy Linmail Pro. I've been using it probably almost for a year since they first came out. It's incredible, but I'm just saving myself so much time not having to click and paste and copy and paste and open a new window and click back and go over and all that stuff. So again, I love it. I love it. I love it. Get going on this. Check out Linmail Pro and I'll see you in another video soon.